Um, I'm just putting these plates on the sliding door because we're about to put a sliding door on. I've already screwed most of them on. I measured 65 mil to the mark and I've evenly spread them along the channel. They can be quite tricky. This is most probably one of the most difficult things you can do. And the screw goes in there. And I'm just missing that. I'm just going to put my knee on it. Now, really what you should do is you get a couple of stools and set up a bit of a jig on a table so you can screw them in. I've now got the screws sticking out the back, as you can see. I'll just um, get the angle grinder and cut them off, and then we'll place it up the top. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now I've got the track. I've screwed all the um, plates on, got two holes in each. I've cut off the end of the screws. Um, I've marked it so it's going to be flush on that end and um, so this plate here goes to the inside of the frame flush to the inside of the frame and that will locate the door where we need it so 65 mil from here to here and then that flush to the inside of the frame and um, when we go to hang the door, it'll be all good. So I'll put this on my mark. Grab the drill. Take it flush. Check me mark. Now tacked on nice and solid. Um, now we'll uh, we'll go get the door. Okay, um, we've got the sliding door now. It's a fifteen hundred wide one. Once again, um, twenty five by twenty five on the outside. That allows ply, bamboo, tassie oak. I've put the rollers on, so. Whenever we um, make orders, we always put the rollers on before we pack them. Slide it straight in there. Now we've got black nylon rollers. And the reason why I picked the black nylon rollers is because they're a 200 series roller. Whoa. But they're very quiet. 
where I've used steel ones in the past, and the steel ones they make a lot of noise. I, ne I didn't like them. Okay. So that's your um, that's your door. We put the track up there. All good. Now, what we've got is we've got our locking mechanism. Locking mechanism is going to go in here. And at the bottom here, we're going to have this flush. This, this is going to be flush here with the 50 by 50. We're going to have the guide down the bottom. We've got, uh, once again, four security screws to fix into the bottom. I would uh, line that up with this corner of the 50 by 50. And I would bring the door open. And I'd pack, pack this up about Oh, 10 to 15 mil off the ground. And that's where I'd fix it. About 10 to 15 mil off the ground. Just so you can uh, blow the dirt out or anything from underneath it. Um, so that would be the guide. And uh, I'll show you how to put on the uh, blocking mechanism. I'll just grab the drill. Okay, now I've fixed the uh, locking me mechanism in the place. Uh, once again, 14 gauge security screws. Oh, they tend to fall out every now and again. Temperamental. When drilling here, um, one thing you need to realise, that pipe is actually coming through here. So these two screws are going to go right through that pipe. Actually, already pre-drilled this hole. I just grab that plate and put it there. Sort of put it about 10 mil in, and then drill it through with an 8 mil drill bit. Now it's an 8 mil bolt. I'll grab the hammer. Yeah, Now like that, it's a little square bit on the inside of the bolt, so I'm going to tap it so it locks in. Sometimes it takes a few times. in pretty well. There you go. See how it punched in nice and flat? So it's actually now locked in really well. Just grabbing the shifter. The nylon nut, so it's going to... Uh, it's fairly tight once we finish.
Okay, now I've done that up firm. That is not going to move. So we need to back it off a little bit. Still a bit stiff. Back it off a little bit more. A little bit more. That's about where I want it. Not too much movement. Now, the great thing about this is this will never fail. There's, there's a lot of locking mechanisms you can use and the horse can actually open. That's one of the biggest problems we have. Um, the horse can't open this. Um, I've got the little guard there to stop it from grabbing the end. And it's, it's, it's just going to be there forever. It just hangs down. Doesn't get in the way of anything. It's nice and simple, it's foolproof. Um, and that's why I've gone this way because I know a lot of other locking mechanisms I've used on the other end. I've always had problems with the horses actually opening them. Then I've had to make them really low and then I've had to add in different um, additional things to stop the horses from opening them. And it just, it's an ongoing problem. Where in this situation, the sliding door, it works really well. It's nice and simple. It's out of the way. You can open and close the door. Don't have to worry about the lock. Once you close it up, just throw the lock in there and it's done. Um, I'll grab a handle now. Right, back again. Um, once again, small security screws. Uh, just a standard D handle. Don't over tighten them. Now you can put this handle wherever you like. If you want it down low, if you want it up high, it doesn't really matter. You can have it where, even if you've got a slit door, a, a slit insert in the top half, you can still have it up high as long as it's out of the way of the, um, the handle. But this is generally where we put them. It, everyone likes, likes them about there. to the handle's done, the lock's done, the guide down below is done. Now we'll move on to the stock. We need to uh, place two stops up in the tracks. So this is just a standard stop that comes with it. I'll show you how to slide them in. Move the door out of the way. Slide in like so. You're going to have it flush here. You can actually take the stop a little bit past, you know, five mils. You don't want to stop it short like that way because then the lock won't work. You're better off having it a little bit past. So I just slide it up to where it's hitting the uh, wheels. Generally, when we do them, we're not using shifters. We've got um, impact guns, 
and we'll be doing a whole heap at once so we'll just race through and wind them up tension them up nice and tight but i think generally everyone's going to have a shifter and some basic tools and that's really all you need to put them together um, let's chuck that other stop on okay now the other stop now we're just going to flush that off there once that's flush that'll do me just fine push the door back That's it. Um. Okay, that's the sliding door. Um, I've showed you how we need to put the inserts in, the bamboo. The ply on the divider, it's the same thing with the fronts. Um, when you put the ply on the fronts here, you still have to have a joiner because unless they're a 3600 panel, then you don't need a joiner with the big door. But um, if you're using four meter bays, then you'll end up having to have a joiner. Um, I'll actually just quickly show you how to put a feed bin, um, feed bin arm in on the panel, and uh, I'll go grab one. I'll show you. Okay, so this is our L bracket for the feed bin. Um, once again, the 25 by 25 on the outside to match this panel. We have left and rights of these, so when they come, you'll have to match them up. They'll uh, fit in here. And you'll put two screws in there, two screws in behind, two screws in there, two screws in there. But before you do that, what we have to do is we have to measure 650 mil, and you do it from the 50 by 50. There, there's your 650 mil to the mark, and then down 475. So, from this point, 650 mark it, from this point. 475 and mark it. Then you cut that straight through there with the angle grinder, and you cut that straight through here with the angle grinder. You cut these welds off here, and then there'll be a couple of welds on the inside, you need to pop them off. And then, once you've done that, this will fit straight in, and you put the screws in, and it's pretty solid. Now, inside this, you can have, it depends on what your um, panel is, if you've got tassie oak, uh, bamboo, ply, whatever, we'll make up the doors and we'll supply the hinges and we'll supply the locks and everything um, for you to install. Um, you just need to remember that measurement, 650, it will be on the instructions, and 475. Cut them off. Some people um, like to have them in the centre of the doors. In, sorry, not the centre of the doors. In the centre of the panel. Um, but generally, we'll put them on this side of the panel, away from the door, because it's going to be a spinning feed bin. It's actually going to be hinged, so it'll spin in towards the centre of the panel. 
and that way you can drive down your alleyway and do your feed, don't have to go inside, all good. Um, so that's for the, that's the spinning feed arm, and uh, that's all quite simple. I think we've just about covered that. Um, I think we need to do some rubber now so we can have a look at that.